Hudson for you. The Uncle John's bathroom readers are great for those. You don't need to go to the bathroom to read them. They're fantastic. Another way is making sure you have good internet connection wherever you are, that you're well connected, ready to play. One that you might not think about as often, but is super important, is to have some juice in that. You gotta have it. You can't. You can't be letting the battery go off. Did you see somebody? We got Lewis W. said, I turned off battery management for the app, and my phone is plugged in. Yes, plugged in. That is the big thing. Got to plug that phone in. There you go. Plug in wall. I've got the juice. Look at that. Everybody here getting ready in their own way. Kathy McLaughlin, this isn't a lecture said, I love a lecture. This isn't a lecture. This is just sound advice. I'm giving you hints and tips that are going to allow you to play this game. And you can take them or not take them. This is this not a lecture. It's, this is just information. I'm giving you, I'm laying it out for y'all to play it out. And we'll see if that happens. But hey, no matter how much juice you have in your phone, I sure hope it is enough to play today's game. How many of you have already played the Daily Trivia Challenge today? Let me know in the comments if you've already gone ahead and done that. Maybe some of you play it right after the game. I don't know what your habits are. I'm curious. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's right, John, six feet four. Still talking. OMG, I am. If you don't like talking, there's about another 13 minutes of it coming up right now as I get into this script. Let's do it. It's National Microwave Oven Day, and we've cooked up a fun game for the Wednesday edition of Daily Trivia Live. That's the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Defrost the random facts lodged in your mind to help you play for today's grand prize. That is $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Here's the deal. You win the game today, and those bonus SB are automatically added to your share of the grand prize. Otherwise, you do have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. Lucky for you, that is as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. Don't go anywhere is what I'm saying. This moves fast. You don't want to miss it. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to give yourself another shot at the grand prize. Two ways of doing that, my friends. One is using SB and the other is with a free rejoin. Don't have any of those? Don't worry. Click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. Tuesday's winner was Matera. Congratulations, you have already been credited. How about that? Enjoy that 500 SB. Everyone else, you know what I'm going to tell you. Keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right, the comments are off to make some popcorn. So let's heat this game up and get it going with question number one. Old Navy is owned by what other clothing chain? Is it Gap, H&M, or Macy's? If you follow us on Twitter, our fun fact was about the company that owns Old Navy. Aha! Old Navy is just one of its well-known divisions. They also own Athleta and Banana Republic. So whatever kind of clothing you're looking for, Gap has you covered. Gap is the answer. 95% of you getting that one right. Well done. Is what I like to see. They really like cover the spread of different... Hey, you want workout clothes? Go to Athleta. You want more upscale clothes? Go to Banana Republic. You want, like, cool clothes? Go to Gap. And if you want comfy, like, smart clothes, go to Old Navy. That's just corporate synergy, folks. That's what we call it in the biz. You know what else? I'm going to tell you something real special. Every question you get right from here on in gets you one bonus SB. Let's dig into that right now with question number two. Which of the following restaurant chains is a buffet? Is it McDonald's, Raising Cane's, or Golden Corral? Only one of those is a buffet. Which one is it? I ask ye. They claim to be America's number one buffet with an endless selection of foods and meal courses. And that's before the seasonal stuff hits. Golden Corral's got whatever you need. Golden Corral is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. How many of you have seen the training video from the 80s that it clearly is in the Midwest? 
where, where the guys at the carving station and they're teaching the chat people up. He's like, hey, do you know what dessert you're going to have? All right, let's move on to question number three now worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Bourbon Street is a famous place in what U.S. city? Is it Atlanta, New Orleans, or Miami? Where would you go to visit the world-famous Bourbon Street? Even though it's associated with the wild partying around Mardi Gras, the street isn't named after the liquor. The engineer who laid out the streets of New Orleans was named after France's ruling family at the time. That's what he named it after. He named that street after the ruling family. It was the Bourbon family. Night New Orleans is the answer. Either way, you got it. Well done. On to question number four. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. As of 2023, what percentage of Earth is covered in permafrost? Is it 11%, 3%, or 22%? little Earth science for you on a Wednesday. We only got one planet. Permafrost sounds like it might be a bad thing, but it keeps land water tight and helps maintain wetland systems. As global temperatures rise, the 11% of Earth covered in permafrost could drop down further. We don't want that. Keep that permafrost in place. 52% of you getting that one right, though. Well done. I don't know if you knew that off the top of your head or if if you just intuited it and figured out 11% seems about right. Anyway, well done. I'm impressed on a difficult question to get 52% of you to get it right. And of the 48% of you that got eliminated, we got most of, most of you coming right back in. Over 14,400 people in grand prize contention. Over 16,600 of you playing the game. And I got one more bonus SP up for grabs right now if you can answer question number five. Here it is. Who directed the movie Inception? Is it Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, or Christopher Nolan? Who directed Inception? Go steal your dreams. Go steal, go steal stuff for you while you're sleeping. He's become the default director of movies that mess with your sense of time and reality. From Inception to Memento to Tenet, Christopher Nolan was the director of that movie. 56% of you getting it right. Well done. Again, about half of you getting it right. Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan also, of course, known for his Bat Trilogy. That being Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. A very interesting take on Batman. He refused to have any other superheroes in it, which is why they could not incorporate Christian Bale's Batman into the DCEU. Fun fact for you kids on a Wednesday. I'm just dropping knowledge for you left and right. Looks like we got all the people who are going to rejoin back in. It is time for question number six. You're already halfway done with this one. This question is worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here is Q6. What was the first movie to gross $100 million at the box office? Is it The Godfather, Jaws, or Star Wars? First film to gross $100 million is a famous fact, I promise. Hard to believe that $100 million can be considered a disappointment in today's movie business, since it wasn't until 1975 that any movie even hit that mark, which happened when... Da, 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 da. Jaws did it. Jaws is the answer. The the king and the birth, the daddy of the summer blockbuster. 52% of you getting that one right. But a bunch of people rejoining weren't sure about that one. The Godfather was a huge hit. Didn't reach 100 million. Star Wars, of course, surged past 100 million. But it came two years after Jaws. So it was not the first movie to gross 100 million dollars at the box office. ha <laughs> All right, let's move on to question number seven now. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What is the highest male voice range in singing? Is it tenor, baritone, or bass? What is the highest male voice range in singing? Most boys start out in this range, and as voices change, baritones and basses are added to the mix. But make no mistake... Tenors are still out there and are essential to choral music. Tenor is the answer. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas with only three questions remaining in the game. Let's see what happens with question number eight. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Babe Ruth had to pay a fan to get back his 700th home run ball. How much did he pay? Is it one cent, $20, or $10,000? He wanted his 700th home run ball back. How much did he have to spend to get it? The collectibles market wasn't the same back in 1934 as it is now. 
but that fan knew they were holding on to baseball history, so they weren't letting it go for free. They wanted 20 whole dollars for it, and they got it. $20 is the answer, believe it or not. 53% of you getting that one right. Well done. You sniffed out that $20 might have been the answer. $10,000, also a ton of money in 1934. Hey, that's a good amount of money right now, but that is not what he paid. I don't even think the person would have thought to ask for that much. Just would have been inconceivable to them. Let's move on to question number nine now, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. In a frame of bowling, how many total pins are you trying to knock down? Is it one, five, or ten? How many pins are you trying to knock down in a frame of bowling? You get two attempts each frame to do it. If you knock them down over two tries, you get a spare. But if you can get all 10 on your first roll, that's a strike. 10 is the answer. 4,357 of you have made it this far. And you're ready for our final question. But first, a little housekeeping for you. Did you know that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of these incredible live games? It's true. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is a quick, hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice a day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. And this really, this is what we like to call the mother load. Because not only can you get some great uh, offers where you can earn from playing other games on your phone like Monopoly Go or Phase 10 World Tour. But Tap Joy, gotta go to Tap Joy. Do your daily Tap Joy offers in this app. You'll get some easy SB. You'll check Daily Discover off your to do list. Uh, it's just, it would, be, it would be unwise not to do it. Also, did you know that one of the greatest bands of all time is finally achieving one last mark of immortality? That is having their own themed Daily Trivia Live. Join us tomorrow for a game all about the Beatles and test your knowledge of the lads from Liverpool for a shot at the $1,000 grand prize. It's going to make you say, woo! Also, enjoy a bite-sized taste of fame with Famous Amos Cookies. Add Famous Amos Cookies to your list of magic receipts. Then buy one eligible Famous Amos product in-store at Publix. And get 150 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. But if you buy two on the same receipt, and come on, you're going to buy just one one thing of cookies? Let's, let's be real here. Get two on the same receipt, you'll get 400 SB. You do have to be a U.S. player to qualify for that. Check it out after the game. Speaking of which, we got 4,365 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 16,300 of you stuck around till the end, and you'll be glad you did because you got another bonus SB coming your way. If you can correctly answer question number 10, here it is. What racing game was adapted into a 2023 movie? Is it Need for Speed, Gran Turismo, or Pole Position? saw it it's a good movie well the idea of someone who's good at a racing game going on to become a successful auto racer seems far-fetched story of gran turismo is based on something that actually happened the guy finished third at le mans have a little respect 3684 of you knew that answer and you are splitting our grand prize today well done to you I'm proud of all of you who won the grand prize and everybody who played. Let's meet just a few of our grand prize winners. Each of you are going to be taking home 28 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Jill Bretz, congratulations. Echo Romeo, congratulations. K.N., congratulations. Olja MGS, congratulations. Nadia Ogren, A. Reinholtz, Sean Antho, and one more. Alicia Nicole. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners and those of you who claimed your bonus SB. You are winners too. And now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You've done it yet again. Thank you for playing. Why don't you come back tomorrow for our Beatles game? This has been Daily Trivia Live, and have a great evening, everybody.